Hey, this is Victor Antonio, and welcome to another episode of the Victor Report. Hey, today I want to talk about an interesting concept. Uh, here's the question, first of all, to kick it off. Do companies care about you? Does your company care about you? What's your answer? Well, my answer would be no, they don't. Companies don't care about you because companies are non-entities. People care about people, but companies really don't care about you. Now, oh, I know what you're thinking, like, really, Victor, are you really saying that? That sounds like blasphemy, right? Like, you shouldn't be able to say that. But let's kind of crack this open a little bit and explore this concept, because part of my goal here is to convince you that a company doesn't care about you. It's people who care about people. But I think we need to zoom back and have a certain awareness of what that really means, because when you're aware of where you fit in the company, what your relationship to a company is, I think you have a more realistic perspective on how you fit and what you need to do to be part of that company. So, for example, let me fast forward. One day you get fired from the company. If you have a realistic perspective of why it might happen, then you can accept that and move on to the next opportunity. But if you stay with the company, well, then figure out how you fit within the company and how to stay within that company. So two perspectives. One is, hey, I'd like to stay with the company. How do I do it, Victor? Two, if a company fires me, Victor, how should I feel about myself? That's what we're exploring in this small episode. Now, do companies care about you? The answer is no. A company is an entity. Think of a company as an organism. Yes, organism as an organization. But think of a company as a group of people that formed this thing called an organism or an organization. The organism doesn't really care about you specifically. I mean, come on, think about it. If you run a company that's got, I don't know, 5,000 employees, does the company really care about you individually? The answer is no, because you're part of an organization, but people care about you. Your manager may, might care about you, right? Your director, your supervisor, they care about you. But the organism, the organization, the company really can't care about you individually. Mm, so then what do they care about, Victor? Well, they care about survival. That's what an organism cares about. Think about it. It's very natural, very Charles Darwinian, right? That an organism needs to survive. And in order to survive, it has to be very efficient. It has to be able to survive by providing for itself. In other words, hunting. Now, when you look at what companies care about organisms, they care about profit, money. But remember, profit and money is the result of survival. So what they really care about is survival. Money is just a way of keeping score on how well you're doing in your survival category. So stepping back, if an organism doesn't care about you individually, what do they want from you? Well, the organism, the organization, wants value. See, when you can add value to the organism, the organization, then you matter to the organism. You become a vital part of the organization. This is why it's important to create value. See, no matter where you're at in your corporation, whether at the low rung or the high end, doesn't matter. If you're providing value, the organism, the organization wants to keep you, not, but it's not because they love you, because they care deeply about you, or they're loyal to you. It's because you're helping the organism, the organization, survive. Now, again, I know it's a paradigm shift, but really think about this. An organization doesn't care about you. It cares about you to the extent that you can help them survive, that you add value, that you contribute to their organization to help the organism grow. And if you can contribute value all the time, then you'll always be valuable. But once you stop contributing, guess what happens? The organism doesn't find you that valuable anymore, and boom, you're fired. Now, people will argue with me, said, Victor, no, it's not true. Organizations care about me. My company cares about me, so forth and so on. Okay, well, fine. Let me assume that's correct for a second. What happens when there's a downturn in the market? You know, this is everything goes to hell in a handbasket. It's not the organization's fault. It's just that the market just tanked. Now, when the market tanks, what happens? The organism has to adjust. The, organize, uh, the organism has to contract. In other words, it has to downsize, it has to fire people. Not because it doesn't care about them, because it's only concerned about its primary survival. So do companies care about you? Yes, but only secondary to their survival. But again, they only want you because you can help them survive. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is a very hard perspective to look at. But think about it. If you understand this relationship between you and the organism, that as long as you contribute value, the organism, the organization, will find you valuable. But downturns in the market could ruin that relationship, even if you're providing value. 
So let's take certain scenarios. One, you're working for a company, you're providing value, you're helping the organism, the organization survive. Great. You'll move up, you'll get the raises, you'll get the bonuses, and you'll get the titles, whatever it may be. You'll move up the rungs of the organization, the organism. But when a market goes bad, it isn't about you anymore. It's about the survival of the organism. So when you get downsized, you get fired, it's not about you. If you know that you were contributing value to the organization, then the market was real culprit here. And the market is another non-entity which really doesn't care about you. Corporations don't care about you and neither does the market. And I know that's a hard perspective to accept, but think about it. When you accept that perspective, that the organization doesn't care about you, it only cares about the value you bring to the organization, that a market is indifferent to any organization or in any organism, it's looking to survive, then you know where you fit in the market. And once you know that you're part of an organization, that as long as you contribute value, you're part of that organization, that's great. But always keep in mind, companies don't care about you, people care about you. Your manager may love you, your director may love you, the people you report to, to work with, they love you. But the decision is not theirs. When the economy goes wrong, everything has to be downsized. The organization, the organism has to adjust because it's only concerned about its survivability. So the reason I wanted to share this with you is because too often we hear or I hear people saying, well, companies really care about people. And that just irritates me because a company will only care about people to the extent that they contribute to the organism. It's caring in that sense, not in the I'll take care of you sense. Because again, when the market goes bad, money's tight, many organizations, the majority of organizations don't say, you know what, I'm going to sacrifice and find a way to pay you no matter what. No, they're going to downsize. That's the reality of the market. Now, this shouldn't depress you. Okay, This is not a depressing report. What I'm simply saying is know your relationship to the organism. You are part of the organization because you contribute value. So your job is to always contribute value. This is Victor Antonio with another episode of the Victor Report. We'll see you next time.